Hey class, how's it going? Um, I just wanted to talk really quickly about Michael Mann's uh, hockey stick curve. Uh, this is a diagram that's both in your book and also um, on the PowerPoint slides. And the graph looks something like this. If I plot out temperature over 1,000 years, so right here we have time going from 1,000 years ago to present day. And let's assume this is going to be temperature. So Michael Mann's hockey stick curve looks something like this, in that you have temperature, looks like it's maybe going down a little bit, and then all of a sudden, right at the end, it shoots upwards. You can see why it's called the hockey stick graph, because it looks just like a hockey stick. If this is in fact accurate, it would basically be proof that humans are in fact responsible for the present day warming. That's why it's so controversial. Again, this would be proof that humans are in fact warming the climate. Turns out it's not quite that simple. Um, I was actually working for Dr. Mann, really nice guy by the way, when he was working on this project. I was doing something else. I was actually transcribing uh, Thomas Jefferson's weather records. A great project, it's another story. Um, but anyway, point being, this was extremely controversial. Um, for example, it leaves something out called the medieval warming period. The medieval warming period happened in about, uh, I don't know, just about a thousand years ago, maybe lasted for 200, 250 years. And you'd expect there to be a little bump in temperature about a thousand years ago from the medieval warming period. Shortly thereafter, there was a two, three hundred year cooling period called the Little Ice Age. It's not really an ice age, it was just called the Little Ice Age, where you would expect maybe a decrease. But Dr. Mann's hockey stick curve does not show that at all. In fact, it makes it look like climate was very, very stable, and then humans come along and wham, temperatures skyrocket. So you can see why this is so controversial. It leaves out the medieval warming period and also the little ice age. You know what, scientists are still not sure which one is correct. Um, some would argue that maybe this feature and this feature were only in portion to the northern hemisphere. We don't have great records in the southern hemisphere. For one, it's largely covered by ocean. Um, for two, you know, the best early records come out of places like Europe and beyond. So in the southern hemisphere, the data just aren't that great. So it's a big mystery, you know, did this, were these global events or were they local events? Um, was this time period, was this, you know, local or was it global? And that's ultimately what this comes down to. So my personal opinion is probably the truth lies somewhere in between, um, but it is much more controversial than your book might otherwise make it out to believe. Um, as always, if you have any questions about this section or any other, uh, please do let me know. I'm always happy to get involved with the climate change debate. And as I mentioned, why don't you guys email me something, ask me a question. Maybe you've heard something about, you know, climate change, global warming, um, anything. Drop me an email and I'd be happy to help out. Guys, take care. Bye.